Um, hi, my name is Rose. Um, I personally have two Chinese parents. They're native speakers, and I myself, I don't speak Chinese at home, but I do have a sense of what, um, I do get an idea of what Chinese is, and I do know some Chinese words, and I can build on my knowledge in Chinese class um, from listening to what my parents say as I grew up. So we began this Dujing in um, Chinese, Five that I am in right now and basically every day we come to class and we read 40 minutes straight of um, a Chinese classic. Now they're basically recitations so you're basically um, reciting um, characters that you've never heard before but the teacher um, helps you by by like reading it and then you you just you read it along with the teacher and with repetitive reading um, you're able to um, catch, not catch, um, you're, you'll be able to read and learn more characters as you go. Um, of course, this is recitation, so um, I don't think it's the most fun thing to do. Um, compared to all the other yeah, class activities. Yeah, compared to like <laughs> what we usually did in mm -hmm. Chinese, which is more fun and just little things, that activities. Right. So reciting for 40 minutes didn't sound like the most exciting thing. So, like the first day, I remember I wasn't too happy about it. I, I wasn't like, I was like, oh, this is a lot <laughs> speaking, I'm getting thirsty. <laughs> I definitely gave it a chance. I, I believe in the process and I don't think there's like anything negative about it, so I just continue to do it. And um, I read more and more and um, I think it was about a month, a month and a half later, um, I started to pick up on some things and I was noticing patterns mm -hmm. um, because um, previously when I did um, in Chinese class I usually would be able to make connections um, here you're just reciting and you can't really make too many connections in and not to mention you don't understand the meaning of the yeah things. and I don't that understand the very meaning uncomfortable, yeah so it's like you can't really um, relate it to anything and you just read characters that you've never seen before or you don't even really study them individually because they're different. Um, so yeah, a month in, um, it finally clicked. Um, I think I was actually um, memorizing phrases in each word and I was starting to put things together. Um, I kind of changed my mindset too. Being able to memorize the uh, text mm -hmm. means a lot. Yeah, it some does. Fun part to yeah, it study. does. It yeah. does definitely gives it a, like a fulfillment. Okay. Like, oh, I did something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when it clicked, I um, I definitely thought it was easier because now I can apply the same method that I've been using, which mm -hmm. is um, just pay attention to the characters mm -hmm. um, and keep repeating them and just listen to the just being um, aware of what you're doing at the moment and not really thinking about anything else and just actually um, finding meaning behind the characters when I mean you can't really find when there isn't like meaning behind them at that moment because um, you don't really know what they mean based on your knowledge. Did anyone surrounding you question question about this message think oh this is stupid and the meaning is <laughs> a waste of a time? Uh, Make you also uh, kind of wondering, oh, will this work or not? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, I think there was something I read online um, on a on someone else's reflection. They didn't really like the experiment itself, and um, I I read through it. And as I was reading, I was questioning if I felt the same way. Uh, maybe I felt the same way at some point, like maybe during the beginning. But um, I clicked and was able to um, find enjoyment in doing it. Let me summarize. First, being able to memorize uh, bits of the um, the Luoyi make you very proud and found the meaning uh, of doing it. Secondly, did you feel the same way like the every Friday when we uh, explore some cultural parts and that add some incentives to uh, for you to read more? Yeah, I think it definitely did um, because during cultural days on Fridays we explore the, um, what 
the characters or what the meaning really is. Mm -hmm. um, so Through the videos, I didn't explain. But yeah, yeah, not, <laughs> not no, the videos explain um, some of what it meant, and I definitely see like it's the deeper things. Like um, I know one of them was like they they teach you like wisdom and how um, you should how you should like live your life to the fullest. Mm -hmm. So I think. Like, I see more value in the book because um, there was a lot of thought taken into this when they were writing it. And mm -hmm. um, you can see it behind um, by looking or watching these videos um, that they formed um, these, this wisdom and they put it into sentences um, to share with people during that time. So I think that, that learning um, what this is becomes more valuable to me. They will never be outdated, I agree. Um, since we started this not at a younger age, you, um, your, you and your classmates are all uh, between 15 to 18 years old. With this kind of experiment, what kind of suggestion would you like to give the other teachers or the parents if they want to introduce this message to their child or the, even on themselves? How they keep the, their interest of reading um, alive and yeah um i definitely think that your method was pretty effective um it's just not being too forceful like mm -hmm. you must read this or else i'll i'll do something mm -hmm. or you know take your phone away for example okay. do something simple mm -hmm. be like positive mm -hmm. and don't be too forceful because that can be like discouraging to some people right. because then they'll feel like oh then i have i have to do this now mm -hmm. like it becomes in the past a task. Months, you think that i'll what we handle, how we handled the class was a pretty easy uh, and was uh, given the point of like 100, 100 points for 100 times, uh, 100 yeah. times reading, they, uh, people are happy getting the easy points, right? Yeah. There's no homework and that was a pretty, like the plus. Yeah, okay. I think that's like a little bit of a reward behind mm -hmm, it. Um, mm -hmm. You don't really have to do too much outside work. Right. Um, you just really have to concentrate in class, which is encouraging because then you have, um, you could, you have free time to do other things right. after school. So that was, I, I think that was definitely a positive because um, if you have something, um, if you have a reward for what you're doing, um, it definitely encourages you to think um, something like, like it definitely encourages you to keep going.